last happy hour. In the late fall, as the sun fades, people's emotions and thoughts turn to a darker, subdued side of deep contemplation, wondering if the sun will shine inside them again to bring forth smiles and bright eyes. It was on a late fall evening as the sun slipped behind the distant mountains I noticed the bright orange leaves of October were now left in the dark, gloomy shadows of November. Feeling like the leaves, I went to the last happy hour of my still young relationship with the woman I finally felt safe with, a woman I could trust my heart with, a woman who laughed at my silly jokes. I thought it was just the late season that brought the quiet and slightly sad eyes to the cockpit of the dimly lit car. I soon heard the news. She told me she might be ready to go beyond what she had felt with me. I still didn't know if it was just the gloom of the season or if it was the light of the season to come. Only a few short weeks ago, I was looking forward to spring gardens needing planting cobwebs be clean and of the far future summer zucchini harvest, looking forward to discovering whether how fresh summer salads were made. She said with a few tears running down her cheeks and a waver in her voice, I don't know if I can get beyond this. I have suffered this way in the past and if our road is going down that same path, I cannot walk it again. Her strength and determination were clear. The now almost tears from the corners of her eyes shined serenely in the dark car as starlight patterns reflected from the street and car lights that shine brightly on the freshly rain-soaked looking glass blacktop road. Traffic flowed like a river slowly bringing us down the main street. Street and car lights shine star patterns back onto the windshield and onto our faces. The raindrops flowed down the window leaving trails behind them like the tears on her face. I wondered again, was this real? She said with sadness in her eyes and courage in her voice, if it's true, then I don't know if I can get past this. How can I ignore this? I cannot go back to where I was before, wiping surreal tears from her eyes that we both wished we could ignore. Her trust in me had always shined and burned bright, now only dimly lit. How could I deny her feelings? We sat in the restaurant lot and waited, neither getting up from our seats, as the rain danced on the roof of the car. Her sad eyes desperately trying to look ahead, they stared off through the rain at the distant cars parked in the lot. I listened in remorse as she told me I had brought her back to her dark winters and may have brought them back to her core. I'd said to myself many times I would never allow anyone again to bring me back to those dark places of winters gone by. How could I give her anything less? Disillusion turned to resolve, and at that moment we both knew. The wind blew through the shaking trees and through us both, bringing back the real, bringing us back to the life of the world that our relationship had concealed from us. Shall we go in? Should we go in? I said, holding her hand. The angel I had lost looked towards me, saying with a sigh, Yes, I think we should. As we walked, I could see the magic slip from her eyes. I could feel her like the bright October leaves turning to November shadows. I looked forward down the familiar walkway, hearing our harmonized steps for the last time, wondering how I could have done this to us. Her head turned back to me as she walked in the door, pausing for a moment, whispering, I could never live that again. How could you do this to us? The sounds of the tile floor and the forks against gleeful plates rang in our ears, drowning out the sounds of our broken hearts. We walked into the bar for our last happy hour, as we had practiced many times. We stopped and surveyed the room. Our frowns matched our drooping eyes while we stood in the doorway, for the first time not holding hands. For the first time there was no table available for us. So many people stood around us just waiting for a chair to be free, a chair to take, to sit at the table of happy hour at least one more time. We had no hope of being seated for our last happy hour. It was over. The rain fell on the roof of the quiet cockpit of the car, making a quick tinging sound. 
It matched every thought that ran through my mind of our past, as the looking glass black top road reflected red, white, and green star patterns onto our faces. We sat silent for the first time. There was no traffic, just a steady flow of green lights that brought us faster to the end of our journey. In the dark shadows of the street, the November leaves dripped on us as one last hug came naturally. I'll call you later tonight, she said, with no tears. I'll be here, I replied, while looking into her angelic eyes for the last time. As she drove off, the light from her car faded into the coming winter night. I stood there with the damp leaves dripping on me. Dismayed, I had never found the courage to overcome the winters of my past, to tell her I loved her. I could now see the surreal had turned very real. I cried like the raindrops that fell on me from the dark shadows of the November leaves. <laughs>